buddies, it's your guy Christine, and today we're checking out a suggestion from you guys. This is Blood Drive by Sugar. Um, the, in regards to an animated uh, story, I remember when I was younger, I always I had a moment where I was afraid to do blood drives because I'm like the idea of somebody taking my blood is only hot when it's a hot vampire. Outside of that, I'm really a fan, but. Um, but I did have a moment where I wanted to give blood, but then I couldn't. Um, so I want to see what her situation is or what it was like um, to do a blood drive. And if you have, let me know your stories down below in the comment section. Uh, the link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. October is the month of spooks and blood. So I thought I should share a silly bloody tale true, of mine. True. One day in college, a sign-up sheet for donating blood was passed around. I had never participated in the blood was drive before. Was that Jaden? Since I had nothing else going on, I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm a positive, okay. which next to A positive is the most common blood type. Having nine Aww, siblings so with cute. the same blood type, I figured I should donate. If anything happened yeah. to them, I'd want them to get the care they needed. And True. I'm sure they would do the same for me. Wait, how many siblings does she have? Are these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Does she really have nine siblings? Did your mother really have ten kids? Power to her, girl. Power to her. Um, I wanted, I can't remember what my blood type is. I need to figure that out. I don't know what my blood type is. Maybe my doctor knows. The doc my doctor should know. My doctor doesn't know. That's that's a bigger problem than if I don't know. Psh, doctors. That's highly debatable. Aww. As I was saying, <laughs> I found the blood drive site and cute. I got all set up in the chair. The nurse asked okay. which arm would be better to draw blood from. Oh, okay, right. I'm on my left I forgot arm. I was one of those people where it's almost impossible to locate my veins. They're just oh, so freaking sucks. small. It runs that in the sucks. family. Doctors usually have to prod around until they find one. That this sucks. one time a nurse tried to find one for like 10 minutes and then just Yikes. decided to stab my hand instead. Uh, I usually have to tell oh, them yeah, to I've use what's before. called a butterfly needle. It's a very mm -hmm. thin needle used on kids and it has these mm -hmm. little flaps that make it look like a butterfly. However, yeah. you can't use one when donating blood because it would just take way too long. Oh, the nurse true. poked around for a little bit and finally got the needle. <laughs> I like her nub. He was very apologetic though because Aww. I would get a little bruise from him poking around in my arm, but oh, I assured him it would be fine. I was donating blood, so this would count as a battle scar. I was just happy Aww. to donate something useful. That's good. He chuckled and said, well, that's a good way to think of it. As yeah. I sat there waiting for the bag to fill, he decided to go on break and have a different nurse take over. The bag okay. was about three-fourths full when all, all of a right. sudden the blood stopped flowing. The new nurse okay. came over and attempted to start it again. She was very quick to pull the needle out of my arm. It was already okay. a hassle to get it in there in the first place, right. so I wasn't looking forward to a second time. Exactly. Uh, you know what you're doing, uh, right? Uh, uh, I don't like Look, honey, that. I'm the nurse. Let me do my job. Are you sure yeah. about that? She stuck the needle back on my arm and started moving it side to side uh, trying to find a vein. The deeper she shoved the needle in, the more my arm hurt. She mm. knows what she's doing, huh? Mm -hmm. I was studying nursing in college, so blood mm -hmm. needles don't really bother me. However, the feeling Bothers inside me. of her jabbing a needle in my arm was becoming unbearable to watch. Right. Uh, that uh, kind of hurts. hurts a lot. I was trying to keep my composure until I started getting dizzy. My face oh, went dear. pale and I started to pass out. The other people oh, my noticed and ran over. They laid me down and started asking me questions to make sure I wouldn't pass oh, out. Yeah. After the second question, I was to unable to muster bit. enough strength to even speak. I was oh, so my tired. Goodness. I was just ready to die. Yeah, like those you lost times so where you get a sharp pain in your abdomen and think, This is it. And then a few <laughs> minutes go by and you're like... I'm okay. Oh. I was ready for yeah, the sweet release so of death lot. when one of the nurses shoved a bendy straw in my mouth. They force fed me apple juice and oh, after a few minutes sugar, I was able sugar. to come back. When That's the original good. doctor saw what happened, he freaked out. Because mm. I didn't completely fill the bag, they didn't even know if they could use it. Are you serious? <sighs> all after I got out of it that? was a bag of Cheez-Its and a huge bruise covering oh my, my gosh. arm. Oh my goodness, that sucks. I am sorry about that, honey poo. Uh, the, uh, I've had, as a man, I've had doctor's appointments where they have to draw your blood, they do labs, all, all sorts of stuff. They gotta test for things, look for things, yada, yada, yada. And I've had the issue, at, like my horrid experience was just like so traumatizing. I will never be dehydrated going in because that was my issue. No, I've had two two really bad experiences. One when I was like around 12, and then one last year. Yeah, last year, where I was like, "Oh my goodness, this is this is 
This is, I don't ever want to go through this again. Last year's one made me realize I need to drink more water. And especially if I'm going to the doctor's office the night before. The morning of means nothing. If you're going to the doctor and they're taking labs, let me tell you this. Drink lots of water the day before because if you try to drink lots of water the day of, it means nothing when they go to take your blood. And when I tell you it's not an experience you ever want to experience, trust and believe that I'm telling you the truth. Um, yeah, but let me know your creepy, you know, blood donating or blood drawing stories down below in the comment section. If you like that video, check out the link in the description box below to support Sugar. I do feel bad for her situation. It sucks that she went through all of that and they may not even use her blood. That part sucks the most. And and all she's got is a blood. And they gave her cheeses. They couldn't even give her a donut. Really? Like, most people need to get together. Uh, but yes, if you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Sugar. If you like this video, hug the like on that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies.